proclamation for this week and uh, we will stand to proclaim the word for this week the proclamation again is meant to encourage us to uh, proclaim the word of God to our hearts to our lives and that uh, we know that we have all read our Bibles and we know what the Bible says but sometimes we forget some things and so when we memorize God's word and not only that memorize and also repeat God's word affirming what God's word says in our lives it allows us uh, to have the close relationship uh, with God as uh, we should and uh, our mind is always activated on God's word and we are able to use it we personalize it uh, for ourselves because or for our family because we believe that we are using God's word to encourage us to keep us uh, active in what the word of God says so uh, this is taken from Romans 5 one and two, and none of these has been uh, uh, revised. Exactly what it says: uh, the we, uh, in, you know, if it's what, if it's I, the pronoun we use. But in this case, uh, here we are using exactly without changing any of the uh, words uh, to our use. But it all helps. Okay, so let's read Romans five one and two. Therefore, having been justified by faith. We, we have, have peace, peace with, with God, God through our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ through whom, whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Amen. Romans 5, 1 and 2. You may be seated. All right, so... We will sing, stand to sing. We'll sing from 